I'm Tan Rungtini, a player of the Momentum Multiply Titans. I am 21 years old and based in Johannesburg. Growing up, most kids dream about playing international cricket. I was fortunate enough to see it while growing up. Cricket growing up, we basically just played it because it was fun and we enjoyed it. But it only starts sinking in when you start going through the ranks um, and you actually see that, okay, I'm actually getting closer to this and I'm in an environment where I can actually pursue this, it can actually become a reality. When I started playing first team cricket um, at Sorbonne College, started playing first team cricket in grade nine, um, I was 15 and playing with all the big kids. So for me, it was always interesting to see that playing against the older guys, playing with the older guys, you tend to grow a lot faster and adapt a lot quicker. Um, kind of giving you an advantage um, above everyone else of your age, you know. Um, moving, to, moving to Cape Town was tough because I was only 16, um, being far from home and moving to Cape Town solely just to play cricket um, because Weinberg Boys was one of the better cricketing schools in Cape Town. In fact, in South Africa, to be honest. Getting selected to represent South Africa at under 19 level against the West Indies in Durban was a highlight. Um, just being exposed to international cricket, you know, from going from watching it and dreaming about it to actually being there, I understand it's not at the highest level, but it's international cricket, you know. Um, and actually going overseas, going to England, um, first year out of school, um, playing in England was an unbelievable experience because um, you get to grow yourself, be independent, um, learn a lot of things, what you like, what you don't like, and trying to adapt as a 19 year old in a different countries. It's overwhelming, but, but at the same time, it's a great opportunity to create new challenges. Two months in, I uh, get a call up to fly back home and represent um, South Africa emerging against Sri Lanka. So I flew back and joined the squad and just being surrounded by franchise players and being the only player who hasn't played a franchise game yet was another scary thing. Um, but also I found opportunity in that that I can actually showcase myself and show these guys that I deserve to be here and I'm not just here to make up numbers. But that kind of put my name on the map, you know, and it gave people a sense that this guy actually has potential and actually deserves to be here. And it wasn't just luck, you know, um, I actually showcased what I can do at that level um, with short notice, you know, so that was really great for me. And going back to my, to my franchise team, uh, Western Province, um, playing Africa Cup, playing really well, and then being drafted as a wild card for the MSL. Um, that was unbelievable. Pretty not playing a game, um, but winning it and, you know, having that accolade, having that medal, you know, it's, it means a lot. Um, and it opened so many doors moving forward, um, making my Cobra's debut, you know, getting new come of the year, um, getting nominated for the Cricket South Africa Awards for new come of the year as well. Um, so a lot happened in a short space of time um, and it comes to show you that your life can change really literally overnight. Now that I'm here at the Titans, um, it's been an unbelievable journey so far. I've been here for a short period of time, but I've I've adapted really well. Um, I've come to realize that this is the place where I want to play all of my cricket for the rest of my life. To be part of the setup, I mean, there's a lot of things that fall into place, uh, such as your fitness, you know, how you gel with the guys, 
Um, your work ethic is massive. You need to be, you need, you need to know how to work hard. This establishment here is unbelievable. Just the ground itself, the history behind it, the players that have played for this team, the players currently playing for, for this team. It's, it's unbelievable. And I mean, the coaches, Coach Mandla and Coach Jeff are unbelievable. Um, you know, they take extra care for their players, but at the same time, they do give you the opportunity that you need to learn how to swim on your own. You know, you're not going to get spoon fed here. Um, you need to learn every day. You need to be at the standard that is needed for the team to win trophies. So the goals I did have for this year um, was to start as much as possible for the Titans um, in all formats. I felt I've been in the mix um, for majority of the formats. Short term goals is just to play as much cricket as possible for the Titans, try and establish myself, um, you know, try and put up good performances, set myself a good base going into next season. For me, my personal long term goal, I want to play for the Proteas, yes, but at the same time, um, I also want to fulfill the, the all rounder role in the Titans setup. Um, been working super hard on that. Also, with the academy, trying to have a crack at SAA. Um, that's another goal of mine. Just trying to be a good role model at a young age, you know, just trying to do the right things for a long period of time. My approach for the two formats between red and white ball cricket, I feel it's, it's pretty balanced, um, where I can do well in both formats, you know, it's just obviously how you adapt. I prefer Red Bull Cricket because it's, it's, a, it's a challenge of who can do the basics for longer. You know, it's also a nice challenge where you play over the, play over four days or five days, you test your body, test your, uh, your character, your mentality and everything so everything is just tested where in wild ball cricket those fundamentals are, are still tested but it's about who can be in the moment for longer you know because um, everything just happens so quickly in, in wild ball cricket um, so you just have to be in the moment you know all the time uh, be ready for anything be able to adapt a lot quicker it gives me great excitement um, to see where I can take my, my goals and aspirations uh, with achieving so much already at a young age. You know, um, it's, it's, it's mind blowing to see that we don't know if they're gonna come through or not, but like all I can do is like just believe and strive to achieve those goals and dreams every day when I wake up in the morning.